Alright YouTube Tactical Tony702 here. I've been lagging on my videos so I'm getting back in the swing of thing and getting my videos down. So uh, um, uh, shout out to my buddy Nick Honey, uh, Honey Badger. Uh, I was saying Nick the Honey Badger but I believe his, his tag is uh, Nick Honey Badger on uh, Instagram. He's got a little Instagram uh, account and um, been supportive ever since I started up my stuff. Um, so he sent me out this uh, Voodoo Tactical bag when I had did the gear check and um, uh, third option had sent me a bag and then uh, uh, my buddy Nick sent out this this bag, uh, this Voodoo Tactical. So I've been using the um, bag that third op gave me for a bug out so I've always got that um, bug out bag with me getting good use out of it. This one right here. Basically, I got all my stuff in it. I just took most of it out, so I'm just mostly going to be empty right now when I'm showing you. But um, I'm just going to show you the the space and everything and how big it is. Uh, I'm not super good at these reviews, or maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I really am that great, but I'm going to try my best. So, uh, Voodoo Tactical Bag. Um, I'm not sure of the model. Um, might be able to get that info later and then put it up. But... Um, tons of pockets on this thing this thing is a beast it's huge um, I don't know if you can get some perspective there but I got my chest rig in there my whole chest rig loaded up with mags in there so maybe you can get some perspective on uh, how big this thing actually is all my mags in there and well all the mags of the chest rig will carry and it's inside the main compartment uh, basically what I've how I've had these two bags set up is I've had all my gear in both of these bags So if shit hits the fan or whatever I just run upstairs throw my food my water that I've got set aside that I already know what I'm taking uh, You know my beans and my rice and I got tons of bottles of water uh, the big gallons or whatever and um, Then I would just grab these two bags and go you know what I mean? So it's a non thinking type thing you just um Grab these two bags. You know all your gears in two bags. You know you're good to go. You don't have to be searching around the house. Oh, what, what, what could I be missing? Because beforehand, I took the time to make sure I go through both of these bags and have everything that is important in a shit hits a fan type scenario. So, <clears throat> like I said, I kind of took all the stuff out of it. So it's mostly just empty right now for this video. But my chest rig is in there. Let me take this out actually. Let's see if you can get a little bit of better perspective on how big this thing is. Alright, so um, start on the inside. Um, I guess this is a plate carrier in here, is what I was told. This big old pocket right there, you could put a AR-500 plate in there or whatever. And I believe right behind that, right here is for your uh, water bladder. I believe it comes up somewhere <clears throat> somewhere on here is where I want to say it's on this side um, somewhere I know I just seen it oh maybe this is it in this little this little velcro thing bam there it is you can see so you're uh the tube or whatever. I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm not a scientist, so I got all the special names for everything, but bam, that's where your water bladder would come, the little hose or whatever. Uh, and then, like I said, it's got room for a plate carrier in there. Um, massive amount of space in here in this thing, all right? Then inside right here, you got some more pocket space, um, a zipper. You know it's really hard with one hand trying to unzip stuff, so... Anyways, uh, more zippers, more compartments inside. You can see there's at least uh, one big one, one smaller one, a bunch of spots for uh, maybe a pen and some other stuff like that. A little, uh, maybe a little thing for a name tag or something right there. So uh, I think that's pretty much the inside. So go to the outside. There's a pocket on pockets all over this thing but here's a pocket right here on the side with the mole system on it you got another little pocket that clips right here Let's see if I can unzip it 
Oh, come on, don't be a pain in the ass. Alright, and in here is my signal mirror that uh, Wild Iron Horseman gave me. Hooked me up with. See if I pull it out. I just wanted to put it in something that'll um, protect it or whatever in case it gets banged around. So, in that one pocket, I got that signal mirror. It's protected in there, I think, in the little cigarette carton. I'm not going to attempt to zip this back up. It's, like I said, it's pain in the ass to unzip and zip with one hand. There's another pocket right here. Flashlight that uh, Wild Iron Horseman threw me. So I got two flashlights now. This one, uh, I'm going to do a shout out vid video to Wild Iron Horseman. And then I'll go over all the gear he hooked me up with. Uh, um, my buddy who sent me the pack sent me a couple D rings. Uh, I picked this up from the surplus can opener there. And then I picked this up a long time ago when I was going camp. It's got a little. Uh, mini compass on it, it's a whistle, uh, it's got a little um, magnifying glass that pulls out, <clears throat> uh, thermometer on it, and uh, yeah, it's just a useful little cheap deal that, uh, that I found somewhere, I forget, Walmart or something, Kmart, I was going to go on a camping trip and I ended up picking that up, so uh, like I said, another pocket with mole on it. Where are we at? Um, we got another pocket right here that unzips. I got my glasses in there. I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna try to unzip shit because it's impossible trying to do this one-handed. Another big, huge pocket right here with mole system on it. Uh, compass that Wild Iron Horseman threw me. Uh, I'll do a video on all that stuff. Like I said, there's another zip-up pocket on the side of this big pocket, and they don't go through, all right? So it's, they're separate compartments on this one big compartment. Like I said, I got my glasses right there. <clears throat> another one that uh, I ain't got nothing in, but um, another compartment. Then on the side right here, you got this big old compartment right here. <clears throat> and what I got in here, I don't know what the hell I got in here. Just trying to show you the size. Size and whatnot. Damn. Um, I got a water bottle that Third Op sent me. A little water canteen or whatever you want to call it. I got a life straw in there too. So uh yeah, and then there's a that's a huge pocket. The thing goes all the way from where you can see all the way here. So uh, I'd say it's about a foot foot long or whatever. Stick a five dollar foot long in there. And there's another compartment, I got a little ten round mag in there. <clears throat> Clips all over this thing where you can attach stuff. Mole system all over this bag to hook stuff to. Alright, um trying to make sure I don't forget nothing. Uh like I said, plenty of mole, plenty of pockets, plenty of uh stuff for compartments. Here's the the back straps are nice and padded. It's got a little uh, handle on it so you can grab it or get grabbed, I guess, if you get knocked down or something. Mole on the uh, on the um, straps, and then you got two more little pockets, one right here and one on the other strap. So two more separate pockets for anything you might need. Then you got the uh, I'm not sure of the name of this, the belt or. Uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm sure somebody will tell me, but this hooks around your waist To give you more support with with this heavy backpack once you got everything loaded up um, yeah, Everything's impossible one-handed it seems like so um, I don't know maybe I'll film with this on my back right now give you guys an idea But um, I think that's it. You got mole on the uh, on the on the belt too that goes around not to mention you have uh, a strap right here that goes across to connect across your chest to give you more support so this thing is not only is it rugged and just, just totally crazy useful um, it's comfortable too so voodoo tactical uh, let me see I'll try to get the name of the exact model but this thing is a beast um, like I said I got all my gear basically in the two bags that uh, people sent me and helped me out <clears throat> Again, I just want to thank everybody who's had my back, everybody who's helped me out with 
getting stuff like this. Uh, I could have never did this on my own, but there's good people left out there, and they look out for people like me who were missing a lot of stuff. So I've come a long ways in the last three, two, two or three months. People just helping out like crazy. The list is so long of people that have helped me out. You know what I mean? And um, there are good people out there um, you know I do the morally bankrupt videos where it seems like there's no good people out there but you know there there is good people out there and um, they got my back and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to call them my friends and uh, just very happy for everything that everybody's helped me out with so I'll see if I can get a shot with this backpack on real quick for you and that'll be the end of the vid thanks alright so you can see I gotta mess with this a little bit, adjust these straps a little bit more, but um, it's got the little chest part. I'm gonna have to work on messing with this. I still gotta mess with this some. Um, see the the belt right here on my beer beer gut. Here's an overview of the backpack itself, and it's awesome. So I'm gonna this thing is full most of the time with the rest of my gear. Like I said, I'm going to have two bags and uh, that's how it looks.